We are Luca and Sara from Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. With our minivan Luigi we are exploring Sicily, from its beautiful coastline to its unique inland. After putting our van to test, today we will visit two of the most beautiful late baroque cities in Val di Noto, the Noto Valley. Good morning beautiful people! These biscuit guys are traditional biscuit and delicious biscuit from Modica and they are filled with chocolate, everything okay, and meat. Yes, meat. <laughs> so this is a strange combination and the name comes from the Spanish empanadillas. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Come va? Bene, bene. We have some pastries from Modica, some almond cookies and some empanaticchi. Mmm, good. Yeah? Mm, tasty. Impanatiggi. 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 There are some stories about these cookies. The first one during the Lent period, the price they were not supposed to eat meat because it was forbidden. So the nuns, they filled the biscuit because the biscuit were the only thing that they could eat in that period with meat. And also the Italian writer Leonardo Sciascia, he called these cookies the travel biscuits because they are energetic, nutritious, and they can last, the conservation is really long, they can last up to two weeks. Without uh, staying in a fridge, so it's good for travelers, uh, you just put it in your backpack. Uh, yes, and, it with you. and they are delicious, like I never thought about the combination between chocolate and meat. And you cannot taste the meat, uh, no. uh, it tastes like a, uh, the in inside part, uh, it tastes like a chocolate cake. Chocolate cake with some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon and spices, really delicious and unexpected. Modica surprises us already, but now we go because Modica is a city of Baroque and chocolate. We are going to the city center and explore this beautiful city. The old town. Modica is also known as the Baroque town, after the devastating earthquake that struck eastern Sicily in 1693. The city was rebuilt in Baroque architectural style, visible both in urban and religious buildings and monuments. The town of Modica was included on the list of World Heritage Sites for its historical center along with the Val di Noto, the Noto Valley in 2002. If you look at all the palaces and the buildings, they are just incredible, beautiful. We are going to see the Cathedral of San Giorgio that is considered one of the seven Baroque wonders in the whole world. <laughs> The Cathedral of San Giorgio, il Duomo, is the mother church of Modica and it overlooks the old town from its high position. Like so many other late Baroque churches of the Noto Valley, San Giorgio too was rebuilt after the earthquake of 1693. Its origins are blurry, we have information about the existence of a worship building in the Middle Ages which was later destroyed by the Arabs in 1845. The Church of San Giorgio is therefore the result of several transformations occur across many centuries. We have the beautiful old town here. Luca is more interested in all these construction sites. I want an excavator. It's your dream? Yes, uh, I've been able to drive uh, two of them uh, and I fall in love uh, driving the excavators. In the prehistoric period, uh, there were many families living in caves here. They found over 700 caves uh, just here. 
Modica is the city of the chocolate but the ancient chocolate nothing to do with the sweet super sweet chocolate that we know soft and creamy the chocolate here in Modica it's crunchy I will tell you now why the chocolate in Modica is made with a very old recipe the one coming from the Aztecs if you're wondering what the Aztecs have to do with Sicily, think about the Spanish conquistadores in South America and you will see that the same Spanish have dominated this island for a couple of centuries. The chocolate of Modica processed in the same way the Aztecs did at the same time of the Spanish conquistadores technically can be defined as cold chocolate and it's grainy and crumbly. This is chocolate with uh, pistachios. And as you can see, there are pieces inside. Yes, now you will hear the noise, it's quite crunchy. Some, some crystals. Yes, mm. and hear huh? the noise. I love the fact it's not so sweet, and you can taste the, the real chocolate, the cacao. Your favorites are? This one, this one. Pistachio, vanilla, and this is the plain. I agree. Plain, yeah, without I flavor. Agree. You agree. The same. But Modica chocolate is different than the classic chocolate. Uh, it doesn't contain milk, uh, no cocoa butter, just cocoa and brown sugar, less ingredients, and the texture is different, uh, grainy, because cold work at a low temperature, 35 degrees, the sugar doesn't melt. It's because this texture. The classics are uh, plain, vanilla. Or chili is another classic, uh, but we have other flavors uh, to try. You can uh, find in Mexico or Guatemala, because the origins are from Mexico, Aztecs. And I pay. It's a kind of an exchange. We gave you all the food from our garden. Tomato, grape, zucchini. How many boxes did you harvest? Uh, six or seven uh, bags. Just part of today's uh, harvest. There is more that I uh, gave to my friend uh, Maddalena. There are a lot of tomatoes, zucchini, porro, and uh, rosemary. Ciao a tutti! This year, because of the COVID, there will be no exposition, no events about the chocolate. We would love to go and show you guys how they make the chocolate. But it's not possible this year. Instead, we are going to visit the Chocolate Museum here in Modica. When we were in Mexico, we tasted all these cacao fruits uh, and it uh, was amazing, actually. Really, really sweet, uh, this uh, white part. Uh, and you don't eat uh, the nut, uh, that is what they dry and then they use uh, to create uh, the, the cacao that we are used to, to eat after. The white, uh, you just chew it uh, and then you spit uh, the, the nut uh, and then they let it dry, they toast it and then uh, there is all the process uh, to create the chocolate that we are used to. This is the metate. It's quite interesting to see the metate here that they use to grind the, the cocoa beans because we use this this metate when we were in Mexico to prepare a dessert. Yes, when we were in Morelia, if you missed the video, click up here. We use it uh, to cook and to grind some other kind of food, but it was used in so many ways uh, in the kitchen and in the food industry. And it's really interesting to see that we are using in Italy the same method, the same technique, let's say like this. Yeah, here are, they are made from uh, volcanic rocks, uh, from lava, so they are dark and almost black. The Spaniards were ruled Sicily in the 16th century. They went to Mexico and they brought back the, the cocoa tradition from the Aztec to, to Sicily, so that's why we're using the same 
technique, the cold technique. Everything you are seeing, all these brown figures, statues, faces, they are all made of chocolate. It's amazing. You can see inside the pieces of chocolate. Ooh. Beautiful. Statue carved out of chocolate. And here we have also some paintings made with chocolate. A big, huge chocolate Italia. My sweet country, my sweet country. Sweet country, so in Torino? In Torino, la mole antonelliana, you see, our symbol. The Torre di Pisa. The Colosseum over there. Florence. The Ponte di Rialto in Venice. There is nothing about South Tyrol. Nothing hey. about Milan. And the mountains, you see the mountains here. <laughs> uh, this is L'Aquila, the Roman symbol, the eagle. And here we have the Trulli. The Trulli, Albero Bello. The, they are truly amazing. The, if you look at the video of Albero Bello, you can see the Trulli. And what do we have in Sicily? In Sicily, eh, we have Modica. This is the Church of San Pietro. The statues that you see here are the 12 Apostles. shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you oh you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree if i'll be a shooting star you make a wish no i don't fake this kind of feeling never felt so real my heart is on the table because you're my everything i do we were basically living in uh, Mexico, Central and South America for a long time. So we experienced the tradition and the culture. So it's nice to come here to Italy and explore Modica, for example, and you can see that there is history, a Hispanic history because of the conquistadores. I think that with our background, it's even more interesting because we can do this association between the history, the food, the culture, the tradition. And after this sensational morning in Modica, with all the chocolate tasting, we are going to have lunch in Ragusa. Okay, so Daddy Claudio, he got um, a arancino with a mozzarella and a tomato. tomato on top with a basil leaf. Inside uh, we have uh, some rice. I'll show you. You see, inside is rice. It's saffron rice, it's like a kind of a saffron risotto inside. I have a caprese salad with the mozzarella di bufala di Ragusa. Beautiful.
is super windy. It has been super windy all day and uh, sunny. And uh, we are totally destroyed. I don't know you, yeah. Sarah, but I just want to Turn lay right, down. Then sharp left. Even the, the even the navigator is it's crazy. I just want to lay down and sleep. We are all tired, so we are heading back to the coast, and we'll find a place where Claudia can sleep and where we can sleep. Yeah. So guys, okay. uh, let's drive back to the coast uh, and see you there. Good evening beautiful people, after leaving Daddy Claudio in a beautiful bed and breakfast we are now in our beloved home on wheels, the little tiny minivan Luigi. We just park really close to Claudio's bed and breakfast so tomorrow we'll be able to, to stay together. Actually tomorrow we need to edit all day long, two times a week we need to stop and focus on the editing and then go on and thanks to your support guys we were able to buy another music license contract so in addition to epidemic sounds you can find also a referral link to artlist if you want to check out the music that we use this is a common questions that we receive from from you guys where do you, we search your music uh, yeah. how can you find all these beautiful music soundtracks uh, zara <laughs> does an amazing work doing that thank you babe and today after tomorrow we are going to explore another beautiful city that was on our bucket list. It is on our bucket list and it's Agrigento. And one person is coming to visit us too. Somebody's joining us and that is my mamma, my mommy. Yeah, so we have Daddy Claudio, Mama Bruna and uh, it will be a treat for us because we are going to stay all together in Airbnb in Agrigento. That it's so cool for us it's a relief sometimes to stop yeah have a real kitchen a real shower and be able to use all the facilities and plus we will not need to stop in all the laundry mats uh, to do our laundry that here in Italy they are really really expensive uh, mm -hmm. using the laundry plus the dryer you can spend uh, about 10 euros or mm -hmm. more because uh, the electricity here in Italy is really expensive, the water is really expensive, all these bills. So that for the, the price of the laundry is really expensive. Yeah, sometimes when you pay for a campground, you can pay additional for the laundry or just once happened to us that was included, it was for free. Otherwise, sometimes it's better to book a room in an Airbnb and included you have the, the laundry, internet connection, Wi-Fi, the hot water, showers and probably cost 20 or 30 euro if you are two people. So it's, it's worth it in Italy. This is a kind of tip that we are giving you guys if you are traveling through Italy or if you will travel through Italy now with this situation, we don't know. The Italian words for today's video are and the Italian words for today's video are... The Italian words for today's video are... Cioccolato Chocolate Biscotto Cookie Chiesa Church Cioccolato Chocolate Biscotto Cookie Chiesa Church A lot of C <laughs> We love you guys, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us if you like the video, please show it to us, uh, smashing the thumbs up button on this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. <laughs> and remember... Life is beautiful! La vita bella! Ciao, see you! On the next one! <laughs>